I don't think it's been talked about basically any time any has talked to us so far has been you as a ball handler offensively. How do you think that changes the way you guys are staked out when you and Jared are both on the floor? Uh, it changes a lot um, with me attacking with the ball in my hands. Uh, Jared can uh, be down there in the dunker, uh, create space for our offense to uh, to really uh, run and, uh, and do what we want to. So um, we're going to see a lot of that and in and, and different matchups and uh, different roles uh, with me uh, with the ball. And um, it's just going to keep growing from there. Is that something you envision taking place in the half court setting? Uh, yeah. Uh, any 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 setting um, where it makes sense and um, and we're getting good options out of it uh, and we're gonna run it. Where on the court are you most comfortable? By? Um, anywhere. Uh, <laughs> yeah, really anywhere. Has has it always been like that, or have you evolved into that as your NBA career has progressed? You um in the NBA just gradually it, uh getting used to it, uh, getting used to the NBA spacing. Uh, three point line is uh, a little further and stuff like that. So um, I've been working on uh, three point shots. So I feel like anywhere on the floor, inside, outside, uh, I'm pretty comfortable right now. Yeah, but when people outside, when when people on the outside talk about the East, they're obviously talking about Boston. They're talking about Philly now. They're talking about New York after the trades. Is there kind of a what about us sort of feeling? It's always like that. I mean, we're never like top. You know, talked about team. Um, we're used to it. We just go out there, do what we have to do, and uh, just keep winning. How much did that matter last year? I mean, when you guys were complete and healthy and whole, you beat anybody, and sometimes you beat them pretty badly. How much did, did that outside noise matter as far as people never talking about that group? Um, we try not to pay t too much attention to it. Um, we pay attention to our group, our um, coaching staff, our, and our roles we had to play, and um, just go out there and try to win games. And he's talked about offensive rebounding. A few times as a point of emphasis. Is that something that's a point of emphasis for you as well? Uh, yeah, it's always a point of emphasis. Um, I feel like as a team, you get more offensive rebounds, it creates more opportunities for your uh, team as a whole to score. So uh, we got to go in there and, and get the rebounds. Is there a balance between getting offensive rebounds and getting back in transition? How do you balance those two things together? Um, you got to just know, know where your defender's going. Um, some guys like to leak out. Some guys don't. If you have a chance at the ball, go get it. If not, then just get back. Even you mentioned this off season, your focus was on imposing your wheel on the wall, imposing your you know wheel on the plan, and um basically you're focused on building your confidence. So, what specific area do you feel the most confident about as you get into the new season? Um, just really just offensive minded, um, attacking the rim. Um, that's where I feel the most confident in. Um, going downhill um, on anybody, just into my spots and rising up. Um, I've been working on that a lot, and so I'm I'm very confident in that. Having training camp sites, you hear so much about different sites. This one here, IMG. What do you think about it? I know you guys are locked in playing basketball, but it's at IMG. What do you think? You're in Florida. What do you say? Um, I think this is a great spot. Uh, IMG is a great campus, huge campus, has everything we need here. Um, they have great hospitality, uh, with getting us what we need and all that. So, um, I'm happy where we're at. How much club, is, I'm sorry. Your club eliminated Orlando last year. You got a taste of Boston. Now you guys are back. It's a new season. Talk about the thought process going into this year. Um, we want to go just as far, if not even further. Um, that's the goal is just to keep getting better every year. So, uh, we want to go as far as possible. How much does it take for you guys to be here, and um, how much chemistry does that help build for the team? I think it builds a lot of chemistry. Um, just having like little team dinners and little games, and being out here, um, building camaraderie, having energy um, that that really builds camaraderie and builds our chemistries for uh, in the season. Are you able to enjoy the weather? Or any anything out down yeah. here? <laughs> yeah, the weather's nice. Um, sunny outside, warm outside, so it's great. How would you describe the offense and, and what you want it to become? Um, I like the offense so far. The little sets we put in, we haven't put in everything, obviously. Uh, still early. We have a lot to put in. But um, so far, it's very open, very fluid. Um, in transition, we have our looks. And half court, we have our looks. And um, I'm, I'm liking it so far. I know it's only the early days of training camp, but does it feel like you guys are playing faster than, than you did in years past? Uh, yeah, for sure. I feel like also with all the guys coming back, uh, we know exactly where everyone's going to be at. So 
we already have a chemistry there on the floor that's uh, a lot of teams don't have yet. So um, I feel like that allows us to play even faster. And then how is the energy going to move that you guys are coming to IMG Academy, but a hurricane just passed through the state in the past week as well. Do you guys have any mixed feelings about coming down here in the past week, knowing that that was happening? Um, yeah, we heard about the news a little bit and uh, all that was going on, but uh, we're, we're excited when we got here. Um, everything's all clear here right now, so um, as long as another hurricane doesn't come, then I'm, I'm fine with it. Kevin, the Kimbe Matumbo, we lost that gentleman yesterday. It hit the news cycle. When you think about him in the post, um, blocking shots and waving a finger, and talk to us about the basketball player you remember. Um, yeah, he's a great player um, in the paint, blocking a lot of shots. Um, that's what he's known for. And um, I feel like as a player, uh, such as me, I, I uh, have a similar game as, as far as blocking shots and stuff like that. So uh, it's sad to see him uh, leave us. But um, I know he's going to watch down over uh, everybody. How much does that roster continuity that you guys have easily adjust from having to learn a new back coach and new pieces on the coaching staff? Uh, either a lot because we all know um, our defensive system and different systems that we still have here. Um, and we're able to help the coaches as well if they're confused on some things and they can help us as well on what we're changing. And so it just makes it a lot easier. Is there a player uh, who surprised you in uh, training camp so far? Um, Jalen Tyson, like you, uh, we talked about earlier, um, he's been great. Just, just all around player. When he gets in, he just goes out there, plays hard, and uh, gets the job done. The last question on Zoom, Ethan. Evan, just talking about and thinking about your game from this summer, have you been able to put the ball onto the floor and create a game for yourself, or create a move that you think you can go to on multiple times throughout a game? this off season. Yeah, yeah. Um, we've been working on that and figuring out what my go-tos are going to be and um, how I'm going to get to those go-tos and all that within the offense as well. So um, I, I definitely have a few of those uh, in mind. Also, do you – how does it feel to have people setting screens for you at the top of the key rather than setting them from others when it comes to pin downs or anything like that and having the offense change to you being one of the focal points? Um, I think it's, it's great. Um, I feel like he's going to give the defense a tough uh, time to guard us. Uh, it's different different matchups and uh, different schemes that they haven't probably uh, ran before and uh, haven't seen much of. So um, I think it's going to be fun uh, to, to get that going. All right. Thanks, Adam.